Do you want to learn how to create an image gallery using PHP, jQuery, MySQL and the Booster? In this video I'm going to show you first how to create the basic layout, how to create a database and then how to upload the image and also store in the database. And then in the second part I'm going to show you how to get all the images and provide some options like delete or edit the image. So stay with me. Before we actually start with this tutorial, let me quickly explain what we are going to do in the part one. So first, we are going to design some basic website. So let's say it will look like this. After that, here at the top, we will create one place where we'll be able to upload all images. So we want to enable an option so that someone is able to drag and drop an image and that image will immediately be uploaded. So what will happen behind the scenes when someone drop the image, we will grab it and then send to the server, let's say PHP. Now in PHP, we will upload and put to some folder that image store, I will say here, path of the image to the MySQL. Okay, to the database and then return an information to the client side okay and now once we know the path and we know that image is successfully uploaded we will just append that image here and now we are going to do the same thing for as many images as you want to do and then in the part two we will just in case that someone opened this website we will retrieve all the images and then we will just display them here. So let's start writing the code. So now I'm here at my PC and the first thing that we are going to do is we want to grab the source code from one of my previous tutorials. So I suggest you to, do, to go to the clonepassincom.com slash downloads and then here search for the upload and then you can open this tutorial and for those of you that haven't learned already how to upload files through jQuery and PHP, here is like an amazing tutorial that goes in depth that will show you everything that you need to do. So that this tutorial is not too long. And then for those of you that did already, you can create it yourself or you can just download the source code here. So when you click that, you will get a link like this and then you can click here and download the source code. I already did that, so the files are here. So I'll just extract here everything, delete the archive, and then I will just grab the entire code, paste it here, and then delete this one, okay? So this is pretty much our structure. And then when I go to my project, you are able to see all the code and everything that I have created so far. So basically here we are using some script to upload files through jQuery that I have explained in details each and every part of this code. And then here at the top we have the drop zone. So if I go here and refresh, this is something that you will get. And basically now here we are able to drag and drop files or just select those and be able to upload them. But now we want to use the bootstrap. So just go to the getbootstrap.com, download, and then I will grab bootstrap CDN link. Okay. I will paste it in the head part. And then here we are going to make some modifications. Okay. So I will say here, this will be our container. So maybe let me zoom in so you can easily see it. Okay, I think this should be good enough. Okay, container. Then inside that container, we are going to have one row. And inside row, we are going to use some columns. So let's say I will just for now have one column md12 
okay and then here I will paste those so now when we refresh this page almost nothing should change we will maybe just add here a line to the center and that's it maybe we can make container I can add it here so let's say container will have some margin top let's say 100 pixels something like that and that's it it all looks good it works fine amazing so now the next next thing that we need to do is to actually go and create the database where we are going to store the path of all the images that we upload so if i go to the browse and let's say i use this one you can see it's uploaded it's there but when we refresh the file is not anymore here because we don't have any database we, we didn't store anywhere the path and the only thing that has happened is that files are uploaded here okay and that's it that's all that has happened okay so i will just go to the php my admin okay and then there i'm going to create a new database so let's say i will name image gallery i will set this to the utf 8 unicode c utf8 unicode c and then we are going to have one table let's say photos and let's say for now it will be four columns but I don't think we need that much so this will be id integer auto increment then this one will be path of the file so let's say 255 just in case and maybe we can set the uploading date so let's say uploaded uploaded on and then we'll say here it will be date time and that's it okay cool now i will hit save and boom that's it so now the next thing that we need to do is to actually go and check our php code that is actually uploading the file and moving as you can see it moves uploaded file to the target file and our target file is actually this folder uploads and then the name of the file now of course we can change the name of the file to, to be something else okay so, to, so we can maybe extract file extension and then create some name so that pretty much it's very hard to have again the same name so what we can do maybe maybe quickly just append the time so now when I go here and upload the file the same one it says completed but when we go here you can see now that there are some random numbers and then the name of the file okay so now that means that it's pretty hard that again when I up upload the same file again so I will go and use the same file again now here we, you can see now that there is again the file but with the different numbers okay so now we can create pretty much different hash each time and use something advanced not just the time but even this in most cases will be good enough when you don't have a lot of traffic and you don't have a website where there is so many files uploading at the same time so in that case it can happen that but it's again hard that someone will have the file with the same extension at the same name just like you and uploading at the same second millisecond so that's very hard anyway let's move so as you can see here now if the file is uploaded okay that means that we have this path that we will return and now all we need to do is to actually save this path to our database and that's it that's that's very simple so let's say i'll say i want to create new connection i will connect to the local host my username is root password is sent to 
and then Davis is image gallery if I'm not wrong so not this one but this one and image gallery yeah okay cool and now please note that this username semicolon password semicolon Davis name semicolon that doesn't exist so if I just grab this and paste to some basic document like here and you can see that it doesn't exist so just make sure that you don't have those in your code or you will have a problem and then now let's just add to our database to our table this path so what I'm going to do I will just say connection query and I will say insert into photos and we have ID path no, path and uploaded on and the values are sorry we don't need ID it's auto increment and then we have path and data so here we can just say path is target file okay and I guess in our target file you can see here we always are including this so that means that we are also for each image in the database we are going to store this and that really doesn't make any sense we are just using the space without any reason so I will just remove it there but I will add it here okay so when we return to our client side this will be appended but here in the database we are just storing the file name and the extension and that's it so let's now test let's see what will happen so I will grab again the same picture it says completed 100% okay let's see what, have, what we have here you can see now that it's uploaded and it's added to our table which is amazing right but one problem here is that for some reason we don't have an image displayed here so I will usually go to the network and then try to upload again to see what will happen so we can see now that parameters okay so something is happening Okay, there's some problem it says permission denied why that's weird so there are probably some issues with my localhost settings so files are uploaded so let's verify do we actually have those files and it looks that we don't so we do not have those files okay now here is the thing here is the problem we should only store in the database if file has been uploaded like this okay so that is the problem we have been storing the pads but the file doesn't exist okay this was false here so for that reason we will just stop it and I think that the problem is here okay here now it should work but also first let me delete everything from the database because those files really doesn't exist okay let's try now okay now it's image displayed here which means that it's uploaded let's see here and now let's verify actually do we have the file with this name so 201 201 is at the end and it's here it's this one you can see it's the same number okay cool okay so now if we keep adding more you will see that it really doesn't work good 
Okay, so this one say your file is too big, maximum load size 500 kilobytes. Okay, maybe we have something smaller like my image, my logo, and it's here. And now if we did correctly, we'll only have two, yeah. The first one is not uploaded. Okay, cool. So now let's create this a little bit nicer because this looks terrible. Okay, so how we are going to do this? Well, basically, if you see here, it means that we are appending all files to the to this container files. So I want to change that. I will delete this line. Okay. No, I don't need to delete it because we are using for some other things. But what we can do is we will just create maybe we can even create a new container that will be fine too. Okay, container. And I can say that ID of this container is uploaded loaded files and then to this container we are going to upload our images so let's say we will have one row and then inside our row so I will say this as a comment okay we will have like columns sorry We will have like columns, column MD4. So, okay, we want to display the four. So, what's wrong? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so we want to have three columns, and each of them will be size of the four, or maybe we can have like four columns with the image that will be our gallery. Okay, so what we are going to do each time if file is uploaded we will get the last row inside this container we will check how many columns are there so maybe we can say here like something like my img okay so check how many of those is inside the row and if there is three we will just create another row and then append there. So that means that we will easily just create nice looking image gallery with four images per row. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So what I'm going to do here, I will first verify how many I will get the last row. So how am I going to do this? So I will say, okay, uploaded files dot find dot row last I want to find the last and then there I want to find my img and then I will say dot length okay and then I will say maybe here if length of this is equal three Okay, you can see equal three. That means that uploaded files needs to add one more, needs to append one more row. Okay, hope that makes sense to you. Like this. And that's it. And now after that, we are just going to do this. Okay copy this and then here we want to append this but of course here we will say like class column md3 okay and of course so then it's already there okay hope that makes sense so let's let's try now and see what will happen maybe we are Correct, we are wrong, I don't know. Okay, first one is here. So I'll just grab another one. Yeah, again, same problem. Ah. 
okay too and then yeah, let's do something else okay something else again now we have four so let's now try to upload another one let's grab this one and you can see now we have gone down below to the next row and then again we are creating new columns inside that row which means that we did an amazing job okay so now what we can do is i think that each of those image is 100 multiplied by 100 so what we can do is maybe just limit the height to the 100 or we can optimize it on some other way and that's exactly what I'm going to do in the next video maybe we can do something like this but I guess the best option will be you can see now it's really nicely displayed and formatted but I will explain all of that in the next video I will show you how to grab all those images that we have stored here now we can see there's a lot of them we will grab nicely and then create down below nice image gallery and then we will make sure that you are able to click on each and every image small pop-up will came in and then you will be able to delete image if you want so that means that you will have really functional gallery and you will be able to manage those pictures so guys i hope that you have enjoyed and like this video if you do please like it and share it with your friends and of course if you have any questions doubts problems whatever the case might be ask in the comments below and i will make sure to answer all of them take care